Hey guys, welcome back to another quick form video. In today's video, we're talking about how to fix the issue with iPhones not being able to receive or send text messages to Androids or anything that is not basically an iMessage. And usually this has to do with the new um, software update and I'll tell you how to fix it. It's a very simple fix, but I fixed it. Um, there's two things you can do. Um, one, you can contact your carrier and they would have to basically recreate your texting profile, which Basically, you just have to call them and tell them, hey, you can send messages to Androids um, and that, that could fix it. Or the second thing I'll show you how to fix. It's very simple. Um, and like I said, it has to do with the new update that came out. So if you have iOS 18 or, or higher, this usually will fix it. Um, so let me show you how to do it because I've done both ways and both ways will work. So one or the other one, you do this method first. If not, do the first one. So you'll go into your settings. Once you're in your settings, you want to scroll all the way down and you want to hit up apps. Once you're in apps, you want to scroll down all the way to the M for messages. And I'll pause it just so you don't see my number. All right, and usually it'll be up there, your phone number and everything, but like, it doesn't matter. This is my uh, second phone either way, it's not my personal. A lot of people will try first send as text messages. So it says, send as text messages when i message is unavailable text messages will always send as sms when rcs is unavailable so you can undo that if you want but the main one so you want to do this the main one is this culprit right here so like i said whoops, sorry uh the corporate one is right there um sorry guys it glitched up so i had to find it so sorry you go back to messages and right here here's the corporate rcs messaging and here we go. It says RCS messaging, sending and receiving messages with RCS users. Uses wireless data, cellular data. Defy, the identifiers may be shared with the carrier and its partners. You want to disable this. If you disable that, yes, I know you won't be able to send RCS messages, which basically to an Android user, it makes it look almost like an iPhone where the picture quality, the video quality is better and also shows you when they're texting and if they read it. So it's kind of like iMessage, but... With this new update, I've, I've noticed a lot of uh, customers have been, been having issues with this if it's turned on. At a, I had like a, a dozen or so customers come in saying they couldn't receive even messages from like, um, let's say Walgreens or for appointments or anything like that. So I turned that off, RCS messaging, and it started working. They can receive and send text messages to Androids normally like they used to. Um, so those are the things you can try doing. Let me know if this fixes it. Uh, if not, like I said, last step would be just contact your carrier and let them know that you're, it's it's not working. They usually will be able to recreate your texting profile. If not, this should fix it. I've done both ways and both ways work. So thanks so much. Follow this guide. Um, so like I said, uh, disable RCS messaging and make sure send as text messaging is on. I've done it before where I've done this and it still doesn't work. But then when I disable the RCS messaging, it basically started working. I have it on because I haven't had any issues, but like I said, this is for people that have. So thank you for watching, guys. Please come rate, subscribe, to on the first sign off. More videos coming your way. Thank you.